Okay, so I've figured out that we have some issues with countersinks and on 12-24 um, problem in your book. Um, one of the issues with it is uh, it says diameter 2.66 and it should be 0.266 because you can't have a larger hole than you have your countersink which is set to 0.507. Um, your countersink uh, on here, that's what the little V stands for, should have a diameter symbol in, pr in front of the 0.507 uh, to give you a hint that it's a diameter, which it should be. It's a circle. It's the bigger one. Uh, and then it says by 100 degrees. So uh, that is the angle off of the center line of the hole uh, to give you that bigger circle there. Now, they gave us both circles, so that's going to make it easy for us to draw. And in this next part, I'll show you how to do that. So I've already got set up here on my screen. Um, I've got a basic setup of a front view and a side view. Now, some of you guys have been sending these to me where you put this down here. That's fine. I'm just drawing the way I learned and it's not wrong it's just different and it's also how it fits on your sheet so you know if you go back and you look at uh, this is inch this is inch and you know when you pull it in here and I'll do it one to one see if I put them side by side it seems to work a little better so anyway uh, that's neither here nor there. That's just something else. So, I've drawn in the 0.266 and the 0.507 uh, circles. And I have a front and a side view. Um, you know, this is this part that would be sectioned. Uh, I haven't drawn any of that in yet. I just want to show you how to draw in the countersink. So, what I do is I draw a line, project it down. You know, and there's more than one way to do this, obviously. I'm just keeping it simple. All right. Now, if this was a counter bore, I would offset this line this way, whatever the depth is. Well, in a counter sink, you can't do that. Now, one other thing I need on here is a center line. And actually, well, yeah, let's, let's go and let's cheat and let's do the... Uh, yeah, I'm going to put my center mark in here, boom, go back to center line, I'm going to hit this guy and this guy, and yeah, it's the line type scale is not right, but if it doesn't do what you want on this, remember you can always pull this out of here, and I can pull this all the way down to there, and that adjusts the length of it. Um, yeah, so like I said, remember line type scale, you can change that. Um, oops. There we go. All right, so I've got my center line. Now we've got the, the the lines we need, but now we need to figure out what is this hundred degrees off of. Well, basically, it's off of the axis of your hole, and you take half of it, right? So if I go back to line, you can do this however you want. Um, you can keep it simple, you can draw a line, it doesn't really matter where you draw it from because we're going to have to move it here in a minute anyway. Um, so it's a hundred degrees off of this, um, well, it's a hundred degrees and basically if I were to take my horizontal line here, right? It's 100, it, you take half of that, which would be 50, right? Well, one thing you could do is, and actually this would be an easy way to do it, is draw a line and just draw it vertical like this. Go to your rotate command. 
and pick, you know, go through the rotate, you pick it, you hit enter, you pick your rotation point. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate it uh, counter or uh, clockwise, which is negative, um, half of 100, which is 50. And so that's 50 degrees off of this line, right? So if I use my extend command, I can extend that down like so. I can go back and trim that up. And obviously this is on the wrong layer, and that's okay. I can fix that. Um, let me change layers real quick. All right, go to line. Now, on, on the counterboards and the countersinks, people seem to forget that you have to draw this line in right here because, you know, there, that it, there is a circle there, you know, or a, an, a whatever you want to call it, an edge, a corner that this, you know, turns down so you would see that line. So once you get the one figured out, and here I'll just show you exactly on here. Oops, not a line. I need angle. There it is. All right. So if I pick this and I pick this, it is 50 degrees, right? All right. Well, if I do the same thing and I pick this and I pick this, it is 100 degrees. All right. Pretty simple, pretty easy. Okay, so that's really all there is to it, to drawing it up. You know, then you would go in and you would go and trim and get rid of this, like so. And then, you know, you don't need these two lines. You can delete them. And I really don't need these dimensions. I was just using those to show you. All right, so that is what I'm left with. And then, of course, however deep it goes, and then you, you terminate it wherever. And then if, you know, if this was not a section drawing and it was, you know, I'd make them hidden lines and go from there. But that's basically how you draw a countersink. So hopefully that answers your question, and hopefully my video worked out okay. Have fun.